<laughs> and fuck y'all niggas. And that's how the album ends. And fuck y'all niggas. Boom. You know, but what's funny is y'all y'all don't sing better than um Jesse Smollett though. We don't. Ooh. You really don't. This too, nigga with the too bad nigga he can't be, lie as good yeah, as he yeah. sing. That and nigga, he be acting. This nigga with a ninja uh, transition. <laughs> bro. That was my katana cutting the air. <laughs> that was a know, weak present. katana. Hater, anyway. That was me yeah. going sco sco. <laughs> <laughs> any sort that goes sco sco, I'm throwing away. <laughs> First of all, any sort that's going sco sco. Already cut you in half. <laughs> yeah, bro, yo, G shit. You ain't never so sharp. You still acting for a little bit. Word. Yeah, what you, you, talk- like, what is- <laughs> you talking shit? <laughs> you talking shit while half your body just slides out. Slide out. I'm like, yo, oh, your body's oh, like, oh, wait. Oh, wait. <coughs> nigga, <laughs> help me. Oh, wait, wait. Help me, please. Did this nigga just slice <laughs> like, Remember the blind samurai from uh, Boondocks? Yeah, yeah, from Boondocks. He slice, buddy. He was oh, like, oh, <laughs> that just hilarious. Very dramatic, man. But if you have been living under a rock, man, I'm not. I'm no longer gonna make fun of you. I heard man. rocks are comfortable. <laughs> rock stone. Sorry, <laughs> but yes, Jesse Smollett was finally my pillow. My pillow. <laughs> rock stone was my pillow. Couldn't find, find place, place to sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough for the reggae hour. <laughs> but yeah, he finally. It, it was fake. Yeah, it was fake. He was Bro. making this shit up. He it bamboozles was us, dog. Bamboozles. Let us straight. Bamboozles us, man. Well, how does this phrase Because we was... I've been we, bamboozled. Let couple us episodes, straight. Run them up. There you we go. We been running them up, bro. Couple episodes, we was talking all types of shit, dog. I mean, my shit was justified. I didn't believe him from the jump. You didn't? I heard the story, and then once he got to, this is MAGA country, I was like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, bro, this is once mad. again, I, I, don't, I don't ever want to make light of real victims, because... I've had close friends, sorry, have close friends that have been victims of, you know, even whether it's sexual assault or regular assault, da da da. Mm-hmm. And I, I never just off the top didn't believe them mm-hmm. because, you know, not only because they're my friend, but you know, you hear the story and everything and you process it. But I did the same thing with him. I was like, damn, they put a noose around his neck. Mm. Damn, they poured bleach on him. Mm. Damn, they jumped this nigga. I'm like, damn, this is <laughs> that's fucked a, that's up. A lot yeah, of yeah. Then I heard this is MAGA country. I was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. All right, something's fishy. And yeah. then other people on Twitter were saying, "Yeah, this is kind. This sounds like a yeah. Law and Order episode." Uh, <laughs> so I was, uh, I was on the fence. I was teetering. Mm-hmm. But and my, then once more news and more evidence came out, yeah. like, this nigga's lying. Word, dog. That shit. Poor my man. first question is. Mm. <laughs> So they just walk around with nooses? Wait, 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 no, There's wait, another wait, one. All right, all right. All right and right. these niggas that ski masks no. and mega hats over what? the ski masks? <laughs> That's wild. That's Dude, wild as fuck. Nigga was double, doubling up. But, but, <laughs> it, it was cold. So yeah, he, but it's not even like he's first, blackity black. My, my first question. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Yeah, well, he's, he's not even the most right, famous let me not do that. Let me not do that. Let me not he's do not that. even the most. No, no, no. He's, still, he's still a black man at the, at the end of the day. He's what? still a black man. Who's, not, most, who's the most famous smoke? Smol- Journey. His sister. She was a child what? star from Wait. Journey Smollett? Yeah, Journey Smollett. She, she was, was on Family. Sister. Family she matters? was on everything, bro. Yeah, she she was always that everything little light skinned girl. Oh, that was curly haired girl with big lips. Oh, that was her. Yeah. Great debaters. Yes, great, great debaters. debaters. Oh, yeah, that's you've sister. seen her before. Now that's look his... at the faces, and they yeah. look alike. Yeah, they yeah. they all like stamped. They carbon copied oh, each other. Snap. They look yeah. So like, I, just I put... feel like. But hold up, my first question is, <laughs> what kind of puss ass shit is that? Man? <laughs> it, it, exactly that puss ass shit, bro. That's like wild, you're, you're you're taking attention away from the real victims, the real hate crimes. You're just about to start a race war over some. Fuck shit, bro. Over, over, over a lie. Over, over a lie because I think the over I think some the room, attention shit, dog. Yeah, I think the thing is because um I heard they cut his twelve episodes down to four, and they weren't gonna pay him as much per episode. I think. I think. Sorry, no. He wanted more per episode. Mm-hmm. I heard he was getting sixty five racks an episode, mm-hmm. and he wanted more than that. That's mm-hmm. what he told the Chicago police uh, um chief or captain or I watched a, I watched a little one of Trevor Noah's skits from the Daily Show mm. and they made a a Jesse Smollett lifetime movie commercial <laughs> <laughs> called <laughs> Jesse's Lie. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh my, yo, the, and yo, they were like walked in and like handed him his, that, that show like the Daily yeah. Show. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's been popular. Shout out Trevor been, Noah. Yeah, yeah, they've been on that nigga's hilarious. Been, shout out John Stewart for choosing Trevor Noah to take. Yeah, over true. Same, Word. For, one, one of the, like you know one need, of the few W's I trust because <laughs> just, just as as we say you know don't forget just as important as having black people who are there for the fight. We do need white people down for the fight. We need everybody yeah, need because allies. it's like they're called allies. Because mm-hmm. the whole goal is 
you know, equality and unity at the end. So, like, Word. when you see something like that, mm-hmm. I oh, thought that was pretty dope. Yeah. Speak, speaking of allies, Bernie running again. Yeah, so I do. Yeah. Ada, say what you... <laughs> you need <laughs> to say. Say, say what you want <laughs> about it, but I... I would pick him over all the Democratic candidates right now. Of course. Right now, of course. It's yeah. not even a question. You either got yeah. you either got Cory Booker, who's the literal real life embodiment of the dude from Boondocks. Um, yeah, Tom Dubois. Well, Tom Dubois. <laughs> yeah. And then you got Pamela yeah, ass Kamala Harris. Ah, it's like, man. would you rather get stabbed or stabbed? <laughs> like, yeah, she was talking about what she talking running off Kamala Harris. Yeah, talk about when oh. they were asking her, she's smoking all that. She was like, "Oh yes, in college." Now, all right, the whole story behind that it was skewed. It was. I skewed. researched it. Um, at the same time, Charlemagne asked her, "He's like, who did you listen to?" And then at the same time, Envy asked her, "Who are your favorite artists?" And she said, "Pac and Snoop." Yeah. So everybody thought she was answering Charlemagne. What she was listening, but to. she was listening to Envy's questions because she was Envy's answering question. the question oh. kind of slow too. Yeah, exactly. No, but the whole the whole interview was just like weird. This is weird as fuck. And then um, there was an article that came out that said her dad didn't like her comments about weed. It's like, oh, my whole family's in making them. Of course I'm da da da. And so her, her dad was like, you know, we don't condone that and mm-hmm. kind of like dismissed her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then there's pictures of her putting hot sauce on the collard greens. And one side is like, yeah. well, hot sauce goes on collard greens. Let her eat. But the other hand is like, why is that in your campaign? So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. just like, why? And then it's like you're trying it's too hard. Extra exactly. Yeah. And somebody was like, "She's black. Why does she have to pander?" That's what we're saying. Yeah, you don't have to pander to us. Yeah. And then on um, if we know you real, you real. Exactly. And then exactly. her past when she was attorney general in California, locking niggas up, mm. literal niggas locking men up. Sorry, locking black men up mm. at an alarming rate. Mm. And her whole little truancy bill. You heard about that? No, I don't know. She that had one. this truancy thing that she tried to introduce where. If the student was committing truancy, and if you don't know truancy, you're skipping school, the parent would get arrested. And there was a what? situation where this kid was skipping school and it was going to arrest her mom, but she was homeless. Mm-hmm. And they tried to justify it. I was like, we know you're homeless, but this is better your situation. They still arrested her. You know wow. what I'm saying? So Kamala Harris has a... And if I'm wrong, look it up. And quote me in our post on Instagram and say I'm wrong with your facts. Because I presented my facts. You know what I'm saying? She has a... Uh, how can I say it? A sketchy pass, to, right. to say the least. Right. Somebody yeah, said all, it straight up. She the feds. The, of all of them, dog. Cam, burn. Cam. Shout out to um, Cam G. Oh, he the did say that. He said she the feds. Bro, of all of them, dog, Bernie, bro. But there's, here, a picture, there's a picture of him being uh, 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 roped up. Yeah, roped up during the Martin Luther King um, uh, march and stuff. Yeah. But here's a twister, though. Uh-oh. There's a picture of Jesse Smollett with Kamala Harris at a Time's Up rally. I saw that. Mm-hmm. And they're saying it's deeper than rap. They're saying yes. that this is a whole political thing. Mm-hmm. That they, she, that guys. Who, not bad. <laughs> no, because no, 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 I was thinking like, yo, this sounds like somebody paid him to do some shit. That, That's what I was thinking. Or, I was, or, that was one of my thoughts. Or yeah. promised him different opportunities down the road. With their, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, like, when I'm president, this, I can... I boom, can stop, exactly. You know what I mean? So I think... And it's just, just blowing up in their face. Fa- that's why it's... Mm-hmm. That's why his mug shot, he looked, I called it a smug shot. <laughs> yeah, because his face was like, yeah, I, I, I lied. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. And um, uh, what I was going to say, there's this theory out that, all right, everybody else says when they're trying to um, do stuff for black people, they're trying to further this with um, these bills and these laws, blah, 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 it always has to be something attached. Mm. So let's say there's, um, there's going to be a law where we, we, we get to do this. Yeah, you get to do this, but... These other people are going to join in on your cause, or we're going to add this to it. The anti-lynching bill. Mm-hmm. Um, they said that Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, somebody else helped pass. They said that's what the whole Jesse Smollett thing was about, mm-hmm. to add the LGBTQ community attachment to it. Uh, so initially it was just for lynching, but now they're going to try to throw the gay community thing uh, in there. That's why you use Jesse, who's like a trump card. Yeah. He's black and he's gay and he's famous. Word, word. And he's outspoken. He, he was kind of outspoken after the fact. He wasn't really outspoken prior. Yeah. But like I said, it's just a theory. Yeah. But some of that shit could be true, man. Word. And he so, lost me when he called himself the gay Tupac. That was weird. He that was wild. He called himself that. He that was, was at a weird. concert. That he was, was like, weird. I fought the fuck back. Everybody was like, yeah, I'm the gay Tupac. First of, of all, ah! first of all, that you really went through some shit, right? <laughs> Here's what, here's, 
Here's what gets me, dog. If you really get, went through some shit, mm-hmm. that, to me, that's kind of like trying to play off, you know what I'm saying, on some, but then make it worse, it, it was something that's not even true. Yeah. yeah. And, you out, and you out there front like that, dog? Yeah. No, his Calling group, yourself gay too, fuck, and you know it's a lot. Bro, his interview, what? is he I'm actually gay? No, no, he's gay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he's gay. I, I don't think that's a question. Um, his interview on Good Morning America, that nigga deserves an Oscar solely for that. <laughs> yeah, that nigga like, went on there. Who the fuck? Wh- hoarded out. He said, what are you talking about? He said, oh, when you hungry at 3 a.m., you know how we be. We go get a sub at Subway, da, da, da. I'm like, oh, my God. He's chucking? He, well, ch- no, I'm, I'm surprised his ankles don't hurt from all that tap dancing, dog. <laughs> Damn. And the lady was interviewing a Robin something. Shout out to her. She, she's, a, she's a big influence on the black community. Just looking at him like, Nigga, you lying. <laughs> like, yeah. You can see it in her face, like really, that's what happened. Yeah, really, she been but she, this. exactly. So she, but she can't obviously come out and say that because she has to be professional. Mm, and right. he started crying and talking about, oh, we need to get to a spot in this country where we got to be truthful. Blah blah blah. blah. Like, oh my god. Yeah. And then, what really got me was how black, straight black men were getting blamed for it. What? That's how crazy. I didn't even tell you what they said. I just told you they was blaming us. Vibe, Vibe magazine, published an article that said, not verbatim, the title was, Straight Black Men's Silence on This Jussie Situation is What's Wrong with the Black Community. What? I'm like, wow. Do you want us to march? Do you want us to... Like, I don't know what you want us to do. Like, how are you blaming us? When the story came out, he said two white men said it. Mm -hmm. Why isn't white men the issue? Mm -hmm. Should it be the issue because... They were the aggressors or the alleged aggressors in this situation. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. And that's what you believed when he said it. So why you want to attack black men? Straight right. black men at that. Mm. And then... Um, just to divide, man. Just, just to divide. divide. And then Amanda Seals. Mm-hmm. I showed you that video earlier. I don't remember last time I called a woman a coon. But damn. Mm. She, that girl she, is... She, she going to tear like her she ACL ain't... tap dancing, boy. She's I'm telling you. She was sounding like she ain't know which way was up, man. For real, she's like ah, just talking herself in fucking uh, circles, man. Ah, you know, ah, I don't know. Tell she, me, she had. Some I'm points. trying to listen. Wow, you know wait, but I won't completely disregard. She had a couple points. No, no, she did. She did. She's like, she's. I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> she's nah, crazy. She's basically attention. like creating smoke. I don't know the right term, right? But she's basically like trying to. Bring more to the situation. She's like adding wood chips to the fire. Right? Adding wood chips, add your wood chips to the fire. But yeah. The, so then <laughs> <laughs> the thing with that, and like a lot of times you hear people say that, you know, they always, you know, the problem. We don't do this and we don't do that and da da da. da. I'm like, you're not helping. Exactly. She, yeah, exactly. She's, deflect, not she's deflecting word, because she's probably you're, you're just shaming people. She exactly. seems like she's mm-hmm. personally affected. Or um, offended by whatever people are saying mm-hmm. about Jussie. Mm-hmm. So she wants to blame somebody else. Misery loves company. So she yes. wants to say, well, what about R. Kelly? What do you mean, what about R. Kelly? This has nothing to do with Jussie. Like, right. it's literally, yes. And then your set, sta- he, this sets us back. And then in. Your, your statement looks stupid now yeah. because he's currently facing exactly. charges. You know, and these things happen, like, you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Exactly. Like people you always can't... talk shit what's without name? knowing what's happening. It was like, oh, Amanda well, Seals. what about... Amanda you a lot know of from Amanda, um, yeah, Amanda and with Seals, people like yeah. that, a lot of things that they complain about aren't true. <laughs> well, why, why aren't there any programs that do this and do that? And like, they exist. Yeah, you're just you're, not supporting them. Right. Exactly. Like, you don't hear about them because they don't have your support. Straw man. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Straw so, man. Straw and, man. And she mentioned, she was like, all right, somebody said that the Jussie thing set us back. I don't believe it did. I don't think it was that big issue or set back. He set itself back. Mm. He fucked himself up. He didn't fuck the community up I mean, that could, much. No, no, that much. It set, up, set back the view of the black community in public opinion. Yeah, but mm. it, yeah, it was like, we're Which progressing. This happened. It's like, a, uh. Which is a you shame, know though, Like, white people don't have to pay for other white people's actions or be mm. held accountable for other white people's yeah, actions. true. That's only with us, bro. Yeah, you never hear anything. You know what I'm like, saying? It's, like, it's like, once, a, like, a random nigga did something somewhere, it's like, you did it. Yeah, that's it's, it's that's they, they paint us with a broad brush. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's a generalization. And up. she was like, oh, Jussie didn't set us back. You know what set us back? R. Kelly not being indicted, blah, blah. Once again, no yeah, correlation. Yeah. Those mm. are running parallels. But didn't he just get indicted? Mm. He did. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk so about such that. So such a He got 10 up. charges <laughs> of sexual abuse. So you can shove that um, argument. And then second, she was like, you know what set us back? All these 
black men. She said black men. She didn't say black people. Mm-hmm. Because there are black women Trump supporters. Uh, somebody hurt her feelings. Bro. Yeah. Somebody, she said, all these black men that didn't go out and vote. Now we got this president in the office. What? I'm like, do you do you hear yourself? Shut up. Mm-hmm. Heard if that. you're angry and you come back and apologize, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Because you're angry and we say shit in anger that we don't mean sometimes. But it doesn't sound, it sound like, like you said, it sounded like she was hurt. Mm-hmm. It sounded like she, she, like somebody said something to her. And like each video, she kept getting louder and more defensive. Mm-hmm. And she kept like um, fumbling over her words and everything. Well, well it was more, it wasn't really, again, it's, it's just back to shame. You can't, you can't do anything with just shaming people. Exactly. You're not going to sh- shame per- per- people into, into do, being better. If anything, you're gonna make the situation worse. Make it worse. Exactly. Make 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 the goal seem more unattainable than it is. Because we are closer to we the progress that we're making. Mm-hmm. Like they don't. When you downplay the progress that we're making, that that hurts it too. Absolutely. Because you you right. like people get frustrated. People get um what's the word complacent. You know, yeah, and they get like, discouraged too. They get discouraged. Yeah. That's what. Yeah, that's that's really what I'm trying to say. They get discouraged. They're like, "Well, she didn't go change for a while, so what, what's what's the point?" Exactly. Like, no. What was playing. the last time you shamed someone and they said, "You know, I'm going to turn my life around." No, it doesn't yeah. work like that. Like, you they're they're either going to get mad anything? at you, say, "Who the fuck are you?" Mm-hmm. They're going to get discouraged or depressed, mm-hmm. or they just like you said, they're going to get replaced. Ah, you're right. Mm-hmm. We're not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's never helped shaming right. people. And it's mm-hmm. the same with slut shaming mm-hmm. that y'all love to complain so much about. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing, but it just doesn't fit your agenda. That's why you're complaining about it so much. Mm-hmm. 